Hi everyone, this is Ritesh from Dancing with Data. So finally today I was able to see Tableau Pulse. And in this video, I'm going to tell you about how you are going to enable Tableau Pulse. How can you get access to free trial version? What are precautions that you need to take? Because initially somewhere down the line, I got stuck. Uh, if you get any problem with respect to access, then remember this is the email and this will be at my YouTube description and the comment section as well. Before we move further, you can see applies to Tableau Cloud. That means it is not with on-premise Tableau server for now. And who knows this become a factor where it encourages Tableau server clients to switch over to Tableau cloud. And that can definitely align with the goal of Salesforce as well. That is totally based on cloud. And if you want to know what is the Tableau Pulse equivalent in Power BI, do watch this video till the end because I'll tell you about that as well. Well, talking about Tableau Pulse, this is definitely AI backed feature. So if you remember some time back, you used to call chat Tableau Tableau chat GPT. Now this has been rebranded to Tableau AI. So, so you are not going to hear this name Tableau chat GPT. It's Tableau AI and we can say Tableau Pulse comes under Tableau AI where users can receive personalized data insight about metrics that they follow. These insights are sent directly to users in Slack and email digest. So if users want to learn more about their data, they can visit a metrics insight exploration. Maybe if I show you the pic, a pick worth thousand words, right? Now that's the future, that's the present now where Tableau Pulse will use generative AI to get you the insightful information. This demo will be covered in the next session or, or in the next video. Do not forget to check my website where you will get a lot of free and useful content with respect to Tableau and Power BI. Link will be there at the description. But you can see that how beautifully customer satisfaction rise has been detected or say has been described over there. And we can say this as good descriptive analytics. I like the word pulse because this is similar to, you know, earlier days in India when doctor used to check the pulse. And after that, they used to analyze whether the systems within your body, digestive system, cardiac system, if all is well or not. Similarly here, it will check all the different KPIs. Also, I will try to bring some good, you know, real data set, you know, that will make more sense when, when it comes to generative AI. Anyways, for this video, let's go step by step. Step one is to get Tableau Cloud. So you'll get to this site. After that, I, I click on uh, start a free trial. Then you need to click, click on the submit button. Okay, I click on that and after that, Check your email to activate your Tableau trial and verify your email address. So you will have 48 hours to activate your trial. And in this position, I would like to that you will get an activation email. And if everything uh, went well for me, at, for not for me at least, Tableau software account so you activation. get an email like Be this sure and you can activate and spam Shortly after your purchase is completed, typically within 24 hours, Tableau will email an invitation to activate your new Tableau cloud site. Click a button within this email to begin the activation process. The link will remain active for 48 hours. If the link expires, clicking on the Activate My Site button will send an email with a new activation link. If you don't see your activation email after 24 hours, check the following. Check your spam folder for an email from at cloudmail.tableau.com. We'll well, step three is optional, but if you face any problem, you can reach out to customer service at tableausoftware.com. Okay, here I am inside my website. Now the important point that it will be activated only by site administrator. So if you're not a site administrator, then you need to, if maybe you are explorer, you might have to ask site administrator to enable the same. But with Tableau Cloud, the good news is that you are already a site admin. Now the step four will be to activate the, or say deploy at Tableau Pulse. Okay, so let's go to the setting. And from there we can turn on Tableau Pulse. Okay, let's go and click on settings. And I think I've already done that. And if you go from top to bottom, you will see Tableau Pulse deployment for all users, only for users in a specified group. So it won't make sense for me because for Tableau Cloud means I'm the only user there. But that does make sense when you are actually working with your Tableau Cloud. Uh, where you would just like to give this access to a sp specified group or say a responsible group so that they can later give knowledge transfer to others. Because at the end of the day, you are querying database, right? You are querying database with this generative AI. So you would not like, you know, everyone to just blast the queries against data source. So you need to enable Tableau Pulse uh, inside summaries to use generative AI to summarize key metric inside using natural language. 
and definitely you need to turn on tableau pulse so turn on tableau pulse and enable tableau pulse inside summaries so remember in this case salesforce may access customer data submitted to tableau ai features and this is basically to improve services for sure and conduct research and development right they need access right that, that then only they can improve their algorithm so if you are especially in bank and you know jp morgan wells fargo then you need to go and read I'm not even sure if they they will allow this to be on it's new only there will be a lot of things you know here and there once you are done with this your cute little tableau pulse is activated and i will just click on tableau pulse but then i will just promise that i'll come back and we'll start from this position so now, now we are done with the configuration and this tableau pulse will be available in the next session i will okay so when it comes to power bi which is the equivalent feature the equivalent feature is none another than copilot and you can see how it can use transformational power of generative ai to get most from your data so if you are interested to know more about uh, power bi copilot and how it is equivalent to uh, tableau pulse please go to my description and check the same in the next video we'll create the matrix and we'll try to get the insight we'll pick a cool data source most probably a real one so i will try to do my r d on the same so this is ritesh signing off from dancing with data because data hi data hai kya tumko sab kuch aata hai bye bye